Ah, it's very good. So I can read in the chat that Caesar is Caesar, you cannot speak, right? You're sick. I hope you feel better soon. Meanwhile, everybody, you are going to cover Caesar, right? So don't worry about that. Let's go through the part two for yesterday's class, shall we? So yesterday we talked about uh, gerunds, no? What is the application of the ing, no? When is an ing necessary? Do you remember? When is an ing necessary? Who remembers that? When good afternoon, teacher. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> when the when the verb is an an activity, uh -huh. it's not an action; it's activity. Great, perfect. When it's the, an activity, we need the ing, no? And when it's an action, we need the vector. Exactly. No, no. Well, the connector too. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Perfect. 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 Because normally gerunds happen with two verbs. No, the principal verb is indicated in the formula, formula one and formula two. You can see the verb. Right. But when we are talking about the over here when we are talking about the verb of the sentence you need to talk about the principal verb the principal verb is always the the uh, the, the section that carries the action i think it's a good idea to establish that yesterday we had a very complex uh, very complex conversation about the verb it's very confusing, I know. I, in the, today, I was thinking, what is a good strategy to make them remember this? And a good strategy is as follows. Observe this carefully, okay? The main verb of the sentence will always carry the context of the conversation. This way, you can distinguish. Do you know what is distinguish? Yes. Right? This way you can distinguish between the main verb, the verb, and an ing word. Mm -hmm. The gerund is never the principal verb of the sentence. The gerund is never the gerund is never the principal verb. Principal name. Okay? Keep this in mind when you are speaking because you need to identify when it's necessary a gerund and when it's necessary the verb. That's the way you can, you can identify these two. Okay. So let's continue practicing gerunds. Let's continue checking in what cases it's necessary to collocate gerunds. Usually we use it we use it when we are speaking about opinions, about activities, opinions about activities, opinions about other other people's habits, hobbies, etc. Right? When we are talking about uh, activities in general, is when we need to use the gerunds. Right? And one of the 
keys that we started uh, checking was precisely these verbs. The verb be, the verb like, the verb hate, the verb love, and the verb enjoy. These are indicatives of hobbies. So we usually speak about activities. Let's try to remember these examples. Michael, tell me something that you hate, that you... What's your hobby? Let's make it more open. What's your hobby? Mm, my hobby is reading book. Your hobby is what? Reading book. Okay, reading book. Only one book or many books? Uh, books. Uh, my hobby is reading books. Excellent. Your hobby is reading ing books. Very good. Reading books. <laughs> That's correct. Very good. And why do you like reading books? Mm, I like reading books when... Uh, uh, my, I said why. Uh, why? Uh, yeah. mm, I'm, I like reading books while I, uh -oh. I'm drinking Why coffee. is a question? Are you asking a question or a sentence? Why? Why? Oh, okay, while. No, 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 while. Why? Question for reason. No, when? Why? Uh -huh. uh, question I for reason. Think. Why? What is the answer to why? Mm. What? No, oh, the answer. The question is, is why? But because? The answer? Ah, exactly. Okay, again, repetition. Okay, I like reading the books uh -huh. because I enjoy reading. Because you enjoy reading. Okay, yes, but you are being redundant, you know? Uh -huh, I yeah. like reading because I enjoy reading. Like, yes, but why? Okay. Okay. I, I like reading books mm -hmm. because I enjoy uh enjoy a novel books enjoy a novel books but that's not a reason okay yeah give me a reason why do you enjoy reading books okay i like reading books because I prefer, I prefer it uh, than watching TV. You prefer watching TV. Ah, okay. You prefer it than watching TV. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Well, that's uh, that's not a reason, but that. Let's Maybe. take, let's take it, let's take it. You prefer it than watching, watching TV, They're watching, no? okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't watch series and you don't watch anything else, right? Uh, no, <laughs> I, mm. I, I don't like uh, a long movie or a long, long movie. Uh, mm -hmm. I prefer- Movie, only one movie or many movies? Movies. Exactly, again. Uh, I don't like long movies. Excellent. Why? Uh, because I prefer mm -hmm. reading books. Because you prefer reading books. Excellent. That sounds nice. Very good. Okay, so we have this information. Um, let's go to the next one. Um, Robert, let's go with you. Tell me, is it better to watch, no, is it better watching a movie at the cinema or watching a movie on, on TV? Mm, I like watching. Movie. Oh, watch out. Uh, I, the question was for Robert. Ah, sorry. Yes, yes, yes.
Robert, are you there? Okay, so in this case, um, Raul, is it better? Do you prefer watching movies at the cinema or watching movies at home? Um, I prefer watching the movies in my home. Excellent. In my home is redundant because home is my. So you are being redundant. Eliminate my. What is the connector for location? At. At. So I repeat. Do you prefer watching movies at the cinema or at home? Okay, I prefer watching the movies at at, at home. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> Mm. Mm. Because I I eat I eat I eat more uh, food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh -huh. Um, what what do you usually no what do you like cooking or eating when you are watching movies at home uh, i I like I like to eat mm -hmm. chicharrones. <laughs> <laughs> good. Chicharrones is Mexican, so it's good. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Um and and a soda. Okay, do you do you hear yourself? You said I like to eat. Yes. That's incorrect. Because we're talking about the activity. I like it. I like eating. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. oh. I like eating chicharrones mm -hmm. and soda when exactly. I when I watching the movie at home. <laughs> When I watching, uh -huh. I watch a person birth. In this case, you need a birth. Yes, I am watching. When I am, but are you watching in this moment? No, when I, when I watch. Exactly. The movies at home. Excellent. That's the <laughs> one. That's the difficult part to alternate ING yes. and uh -huh. That's the difficult part. Precisely. How do you know you need a normal birth? You need a normal birth when you have a normal structure, person birth complement. Okay. That's the structure. If it's not a normal structure, pay attention because probably you need a gerund. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teach. Very good, Raul. Very, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, let's go with one more. Okay. Let me show you new vocabulary. Let me show you new vocabulary so you can use more words and, and identify when it's necessary a gerund and when it's not. Observe these charts. Okay. It says example as urine with a urine in the complement. Usually, when we use these specific verbs, we need a urine. It's necessary to see the difference. Let's check word by word. Okay. 
Let's go through the dictionary. Excellent. This is B1. So let's start with um, Sochil. Help me with the with the pronunciation. Admit. Correct. Admit. Admit. Definition and examples. Admit in transitive, transitive, mm -hmm. to agree often on on what on what what <laughs> on will English. Exactly, unwillingly. Very good. Okay, to agree often unwillingly mm -hmm. that something is true. Um, synonyms. Oh, no. Synonym. Mm -hmm. Confess. Good. Examples. It was a stupid thing to do. I admit. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Observe. Example number one, two, three, four. Okay. It says here, admit to doing something. This particular connector is an exception. Connector two is an exception. Please take a note. Okay. Let me take a note here. Connector two. After admit is an exception. Does anybody have questions about admit? Everybody understands admit. Give me give me a finger. Everybody understands admit. Give me a finger. Okay, so she understands. Very good. What about the rest? Okay. Give me an example. So chill. Example using admit and an ing. I, I, I admit, mm -hmm. um, I admit mm -hmm. the mistake, no, that, that mistake. Interesting. I admit that mistake. Okay, but you are not using an ING. Mm -hmm. You know, check this example. Read this. Okay. Uh, he admitted to cheating on the exam. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see, cheating is the word in ing. Okay. It's a gerund. So, what do you admit? No, no teacher. 
I, I don't. <laughs> imagine, imagine you are talking to the. Or don't talk about you. Talk about another person. Did anybody, in any friend, any member of your family, admit something? Mm. I admit I was wrong to offend you. No, porque, no. Probably yes. No, yes, yes, yes. Yes. You said I admit I was, no? Yes. Okay. I was is a verb. Do you agree? I mean, eliminate I and you get? Eliminate I. I admit was. was. Okay, was. perfect. Was is in past. No? Mm -hmm. What is the ing for was? Guys, any help? What is the ing for was? E in? Exactly. Because in present is I am, you are, and he is. In past, I was and you were. In simple form, is be. It's be. Okay. What is the ing for be? be being? Being. Exactly. Okay. Being. Uh -huh. This is the first time you use this word. Mm -hmm. You see? Complete. So, I admit be, be, being <laughs> wrong to offend you. I, to offend I you. admit being wrong to offend you. What an excellent example. Excellent example. Mm -hmm. Very good. I like it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Go number two with Janice. Who will be the next one, Janice? This one's, this one's easy. A bite. Good. Please oh read the example. The last one. A boy does something. Sorry, pronunciation. How do you pronounce this verb? Doing. Hmm. What is the simple form? Do. Do. So when you put ing, don't transform to do, you know? Doing. Doing. Ah, exactly. Doing. Excellent. Complete. Avoid doing something. Mm -hmm. They build a world to avoid soil being washed away. Good. What is the past of wash? Washed. Next. Uh, again? Washed. Hmm. If wash ends in shush, wash, wash, excellent, again, wash, mm -hmm. um, avoid doing, doing something they boiled a while to avoid soil, soil being washed, washed, Away. Exactly. Good. That's correct. So the reason the reason they built a wall is to avoid. Do you remember what is avoid? Yeah. Right? To avoid. Not permit. No? 
or well, to avoid soil being washed away, right? Avoid, similar to prevent. Prevent and avoid are synonyms. We are avoiding something bad. Janice, what do you avoid? What do you avoid if you eat healthy? Yes, what? If you eat healthy, nutritious. Okay. Um, I avoid eating it. Um, candies. <laughs> okay. Okay, complete idea. I avoid, avoid, I avoid eat, eat. eating. Aha, eat or eating? Eating. Eating, no, because it's avoid eating. That's the example here. Avoid doing, avoid going, avoid <laughs> eating. Okay. Again. I, I avoid eating. Candies. Mm, you avoid eating candies. Okay, but my question is different. You understand my question again. The what do you avoid when you eat healthy? What do you avoid? Ah, I understand you. Okay, okay. I avoid eating candy. When you, okay, you are correct. No, forget it, complete. <laughs> I avoid eating candies because I have, um, when, because my mother have diabetes. My mother have, no, I have, you have, and my mother? Has. Exactly, again. Because my mother has diabetes. Perfect. Pronunciation? Diabetes. Mm -hmm. Dia. Dia diabetes. Correct. Diabetes. Diabetes. Bidi. Mm -hmm. That's right. Complete. I I avoid eating candies because my mother has diabetes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> diabetes. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce this? Hey, diabetes. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, diabetes. Die. Diabetes. <laughs> Dia. Dia. Diabetes. Excellent. Diabetes. Exactly. Very good. That's correct. So there you have it, right? The word consider is also easy. What about delay? Let me check the level for delay. Delay. Ah, oh, this is difficult. Perfect. Delay. Uh, help me, help me, okay, before we go to the next example, Mike, you gave me an example in the chat, you said, my sister, complete idea, Mike, are you there? Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, I have a problem with so I don't uh, unmute my. Oh, okay, okay, no problem, no problem. So, again, in the chat, in the chat, you gave me an example with, with. Admit. Admit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Complete idea. Uh, the original idea. Uh -huh. Complete. My sister. 
admit, listen uh, music of Bad Bunny when she listen gets Listen or listening? Uh, listening, sorry. Listening, um, no, because it's ING. My sister admit listening music uh, of Bad Bunny when she gets back at the school. Excellent. So let's talk about two mistakes. One, the word listening needs a connector to always. Okay. Hashtag English. Okay. okay. So what does your sister admit? My sister admit to listening. No, no, no. Listening? No. Listening. It's no, no, the, the T, the pronunciation is correct. It's a connector yeah. to. The verb listening needs the connector to uh, to connect listen. what you are listening to. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. It's always listening to, listening to, listening to. Take it as a as a note. Okay, okay. My sister admit lis listening to music of Bad Bunny. Listening? The T doesn't sound. Uh, listening. Yes. Listen. Look. Listen. Listen. You see? ING? Listening. 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 Okay. My my sister admit listening to music of Bad Bunny when she gets back at the school. Excellent. Now everything is perfect. Now, are we talking in present? Is it not every day? Or is it right now? Is it in future? Is it in past? I don't understand the time. Because uh, the verbs are incorrect. Well, the verbs are not incorrect. The time, I don't understand the time. Okay. If you say, my sister, admit, uh -huh. there's no present. In present is admits. Ah, uh, gotcha, yeah. You see, in past is admitted. So you need to modify the verb. Yeah, in this case, is my sister admits. Are you talking about every day? No. Okay. It's past, no? The past. Uh -huh. My sister admitted uh, listening to music of Bad Bunny when she got, got back at the school. In this case, does she get back to school every day or did she get back to school in one specific moment in the past? Uh, every day. Every day. So you need to respect the present. You need to say yes. Ah, okay. That's the reason I give emphasis in this specific part. The gerund okay. is never the main verb. The main verb of the sentence will always carry the context of the conversation. If you say, my sister admits, is she uh -huh. admits every day. Uh -huh. That It's impossible to admit every day. Okay. Right? But mm -hmm. it's not impossible to get back to school every day. Okay. One gotcha. is in past, the other is in present. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Complete idea. My sister admitted listening to music of Bad Bunny when she gets back at the school. Exactly. You can admit one time, but you can get back to school every day. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's pass to the next one. Delay. Delay is super difficult. B2. Help me, Luis. Delay. Hmm. A period of time when somebody, something has to wait because of a problem that makes something slow or late. Okay. Do you understand delay? Mm, yes. Oh, but wait, delay in this case is a noun. No, 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 you need a verb. Aha, uh -huh. this is the one. Read, read this one again. Okay. <clears throat> Delay somebody, something to make somebody, something late or, or force, something late or force them 
to do something more slowly. You see? So you are making another person move slow. You delay other person. Or probably something external delays you. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, a, a crash delays the traffic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a crash delays the traffic. A bad connection delays the movie. Etc. Uh, to lose a uh, fly in the airport. To lose a fly in the airport. What to happens when you lose? To lose, uh -huh. to lose a fly in the airport. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a that's a good example of delay. Now give me an example with delay plus ing. In what occasions do you need delay plus verb ing? Mm. Mm. When a fly mm -hmm. when a fly delaying, when a fly delaying, delaying, but delaying, why is it ing? Oh, are you talking about delay is a verb? Okay. When so, uh, when a fly delay me. Okay, when the fly delay you, I delay you delay and the fly delays me. Delays you exactly. When a fly delays me. Mm -hmm. I I delaying my activities. I delaying. I delaying me my activities. Delaying in this moment. Ah. Uh, Is you're using ing. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> again, 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 again. Read example. Read this example, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Read it. Okay. Read it okay. out loud. I didn't hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Read the example. He the layer. Paying his phone bill. Exactly. You see what the ing affects the second verb? Uh huh. Not the first. Right? The first is the, the context of the conversation, the second okay. is the activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Find an example like this. Uh -huh. The fly. The lies. Mm -hmm. No, the fly, the lion. Um, uh, the fly, the lion, me, the lion is me. to arriving. Excellent. Okay. Delays me to arriving. Either you need to select 
or you use a connector two or you use the ing never both okay okay mm -hmm. the fly delays me oh the fly delays me arriving the mm -hmm. me arriving in monterrey excellent connector for monterrey if, what is the connector for for, for the verb arrive and then the at, place exactly connector for location okay also pronunciation how do you pronounce this Okay. Mm. Delay. delay. Excellent. Delay. delay. Present. Okay. Press. Delay. Present. No. Now delay. I delay. You delay. And the flight. Ah, uh, delaying. Ah. Uh -huh. Del delays me. Delays. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. One more time. Complete. Okay. The flight delays me. Arriving at Monterrey. Much, much better. Excellent contra uh, construction. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to this one. Also difficult. Um, Robert, are you back? Yes, I'm here. Excellent. Okay. You read. Deny. Deny. Mm, say that something is not true. Do you understand deny? Mm, it's like a... Liar? No. No, the, the contrary. If somebody, okay. if somebody accuse you, you can deny. To say that something is not okay, okay, okay. Right. right. Another person accuse you, and you express no, no, no. I didn't. I didn't do it. This is to deny. To say that something is not true. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. In what cases do you deny? And, um... A judge. A good, excellent. In uh, no, it's not judge. The judge is uh, the the, the, yeah, the, the leader. <laughs> it's jury. Jury. In a jury, uh huh. You. And then, uh -huh, exactly. Deny. That's right. Give me an example of deny. Plus ing. Read this example. Deny. He denied stealing the money. You see? Yeah. So the person said, no, I didn't steal the money. Give me an example. The, um, use a euro that's it's okay. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. the, What's the question? No, no, I'm thinking in an answer. Okay, okay. An example. An example. Okay. The, the, oh my God. The, 
the testifier uh -huh. deny The testifier. The testifier deny. I deny, you deny. And the testifier. Mm -hmm. The testifier. Denied. Ah, uh, you're talking the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Testify tonight. What did the testifier deny? Answering. Excellent. Answering what? The testifier denied answering to the to the judge. Excellent. Eliminé. Oh, no, to to. He's correct. To the judge. Excellent. Complete idea. To the judge. The testifier denied answering to the judge. That sounds perfect. 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 The testifier denied answering to the judge. It's difficult, no? <laughs> because you were you were looking yeah. for the words. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Where did you find the word testifier? Uh, I remember some series. Uh... Perfect, man. Yes, mm -hmm. that's application of of uh, of movies and series. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent, guys. You you understand the point of this lesson okay it's necessary an ing after after this specific list of verbs it's super specific because all their list needs connector to let me give you an example connector for two verbs two 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 no two. So when we're talking about this other list, let me show you this one. You have seen this in previous classes. Do you remember this? No. Okay, no problem. That's going to be new for you. This specific list of verbs need a connector to. No ing in this particular list is not necessary to use ing. Right? Example, we say, I agree to speak Spanish with you after the class. You see? The next one, I appear, for example. Appear is to have the appearance. Let me check the level of, uh, of appear. Appear. Now this is A2. What about the range? The range is A2 too. What about the tent? B2, okay, perfect. Attempt. Attempt is similar to have the intention. To have the intention to do something. I attempted to call you. I attempted to call you uh, two hours ago. Synonym, I tried to call you two hours ago. I had the intention to call you two hours ago. So in this particular case, 
is incorrect to say I attempted calling. That's incorrect. Because hashtag the verb is not in the list. If the verb is in this list, you use a gerund. If the verb is in this list, you use a connector too. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Difficult? Yes. Well, memorization, my people. You need to study your verbs. Let me make it easy for you. I will collocate a sign like this. Okay? When you see this, you can identify this is a priority verb. This is a very necessary verb for you. Okay? So let me let me search the words. Let me check the name. The word is beg. No, beg. Beg is B2. Ooh, that's difficult. Afford. Ah, perfect. D1. Wait. Ah, this is babies. Baby kindergarten English. Yes, of course. Wait. Care. Hmm, chance, chance with the suburb. Now, this is very difficult to eliminate. Choose, choose is kindergarten English. Claim, oh, perfect. Care, hmm, easy. Com hmm. Consent. Oh, oof. Too much, too much English, no guys. C one. Now eliminate consent for the moment. Don't worry. There. Aha. This is necessary. Decide is easy. Demand. This is necessary. Deserve. Uh -huh. This is necessary to determine. B1. Elect. B2. Expect. Uh, this is easy. Fail. A2. Easy. Get is easy. Grow up is easy. Guarantee. Ooh. B2. Hesitate. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of vocabulary to see, eh? Hope. No, hope with H. Easy. Hurry easy. Incline. This one's advanced. Eliminate. Manage. Easy. Neglect. Oh, difficult. Eliminate. Profess. Difficult. No, this is super difficult. No, 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 no. Proof. Aha. B1. Refuse. Easy. Remain. B1. Request. Easy. Resolve. Ooh, me too. 
This is important to know, eh, guys, because if you see a verb and it's too difficult, you can avoid for the moment, okay? Later, we are going to see that verb. But in this moment, your priority, super, super necessary, study B1 and B2 vocabulary. This is necessary. That's it to try. Try, try doing. No, try is ING. Seek. B2. Mm -hmm. Sim. Easy. Strive. Difficult, no? Struggle. Excellent. Swear. Except ten B one threaten B two perfect phrasal verbs turn out B one be super important. Volunteer B one and yearn. This is super advanced, so we can eliminate your your list, guys. Looks like this. If you don't see the symbol. It means that this is easy vocabulary. Okay, let me just check it out again. If you see the lock, this is fundamental vocabulary for you, necessary for the exam, okay? And if you see a normal verb, no, no symbol, this is easy vocabulary, kindergarten English. Observe, for example, agree. Agree is super easy. Ask is super easy. Wait is super easy. But attempt, oh, this is new. Beg, this is new. Right? Every, every word that I indicated here is necessary for your final exam. So please memorize and study. Screenshot. Any question? No. No. Sure. One moment, please. I'm going to take a photo. Okay. Take your photo while Jesse passes attendance. Hello, Jess. Hi. Hi. Good night. Good night. So, we're going to take attendance. Is he Janet? Hi, yes. Hi, Jan. Thank you. Good night. Good Luis? Night. Present, Jesse. Thank you, Luis. Good night. Good night. Michael? Michael, Michael. Here. Exactly. Thank you, Michael. Raul? I'm here. Thank you, Raul. Robert? Good. Hi, Robert. Thank you. Good night. Sochi? Present. Hi, Sochi. Thank you. Good night. Hi, Jesse. Uh, Cesar. Yes. Está aquí, pero anda en permito. No puedo hablar. All right. So, uh -huh. anybody else? Somebody anybody else? else, girl? All right. Thank you. Have, have a nice... Night. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Girl. Thank you very much. Night. Bye. <laughs> You're welcome. Excellent. Mm. Teacher. You tell me. Yeah, yeah. So chill. Um, the letter I uh -huh. is missing in the verb wish. 
wish w w wish okay wish excellent there we go perfect 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 so this is not difficult guys it's only understanding the logic of english thinking in english is knowing the correct the correct collocation the correct formulas the correct everything okay let's learn new vocabulary for example let's learn the definition for attempt okay attempt please read me the definition michael attempt mm -hmm. uh, an act of trying to do something especially something difficult often with no success to sex okay for example i passed my driving test at the first attempt okay read the second example this is the the one that is interesting okay attempt to do something they made no attempt to escape mm -hmm. look at the verb escape here escape is a verb it's incorrect to say they made no attempt escaping that's totally incorrect because after the verb attempt it's necessary to use connector to attempt to do always i will attempt to answer all your questions connector to is not the uh, sorry word attempt is similar to try mm -hmm. tell me mike did you attempt to do something special these days mm, no i didn't attempt to do in this day in that date in which days and before dates which before i really believe before and la last day or die well my my question you can copy paste from my question i repeat did you attempt to do anything special these days? Mm. No. I have a question on attempt. I don't understand. <laughs> do you remember try? Yeah. It's a similar. similar. Uh -huh. it's okay. similar. Uh, yeah, I attempt mm -hmm. a working out in my house. At, uh, ah, very good, brother. Oh, that's a very good uh, news. Attempt, do, do you attempt every day? Did you attempt in the past and specific time in the past? Ah, uh, okay. What? I uh, attempted. Excellent. Working out in my house. Excellent. That sounds better. Good. Good, 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 good. This is the word attempt, right? Let's go with the next one. The word is this one from Zishon Raul. Beg. Yep. Beg. Beg. To ask somebody for something, especially in a. An action. An the N has a sound. An anxious? Exactly. An anxious? <laughs> way because you want or need it very much correct so you're like please 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 this is to beg i am begging it this moment please 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 give me give me one peso one for a one taco you know i am begging 
You understand that? Okay. Right? How often do you see people begging to get money? Uh, can you repeat? Yes. How often do you see people begging to get money? Um, I sometimes see see begging but who who do you see me you you see who i hmm. But you cannot see you. You know? Fernando sees Fernando. It's like Raul sees ah. Raul. That's impossible. I see people? Exactly. Complete idea. I repeat, I repeat. How often do you see people begging to get money? <laughs> I sometimes I sometimes see people mm -hmm. doing what? Mm. Begging. Exactly. Uh huh. Begging. Begin to get money. Excellent. Sometimes you see people begging to get money. Exactly. That is the way it works. Any question in the vocabulary, guys? Many, no? Yes. <laughs> well, for homework, you need to study these words, these words, and these words, okay, because it is necessary that you expand your vocabulary, the vocabulary for the video is one, but the words and the verbs necessary to progress your English level are equally important, okay, that's the one. Finally, to finish this, my people like, okay. Let's keep it over there. I have an additional information to give you, but tomorrow we can continue exercising. Okay. In this moment, you finished. Okay. Right. Do you have any questions, guys? No. No, can I use moment? Awesome. Study your book up. I'll see you Good tomorrow. night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye. Bye Luis. Bye. You guys. Bye, so chill. Good night. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. You too. Bye.